Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William met with a special guest at Kensington Palace this week. The royal couple hosted billionaire and co-founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates. They greeted the philanthropist at their home in London on Tuesday as part of their role as patrons of their royal foundation. Mr. Gates was there in his capacity as co-chairman and trustee of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The behind-the-scenes meeting was not publicly announced beforehand. It was recorded in the court circular, the daily record of royal engagements. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is the largest private foundation in the world. Mr. Gates is estimated to have given away pounds 29.3 billion to charity. This is not the first time Mr. Gates has dabbled in royal life. The billionaire received an honorary knighthood in 2005 for his charity work and achievement in creating the world's most successful software company. Mr. Gates and his wife Melinda met the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh at Buckingham Palace for the ceremony. Despite receiving the KBE, or Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire, Mr. Gates is not known as Sir, a title reserved for British citizens. Through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the couple have given away billions of dollars, most being spent on programs to improve health in developing countries. Malaria and AIDS have been a particular focus, as have childhood diseases. The foundation donated £614 million in 2015 to the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization, which Mr. Gates was instrumental in setting up. William and Kate's Royal Foundation focuses on mental health, early years, wildlife conservation, young people and the armed forces community. Meghan and Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, left the charity set up their own. They have been removed from Kate and William's Royal Foundation website, marking an official end to their joint venture. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are now listed as the only principals of the charity, with William being listed as founding the organization. The program was initially launched between Harry and William in 2009. Harry and Meghan are now no longer mentioned on the site, and projects under the Sussex's name including the Invictus Games and Megan's Together, Our Community Cookbook, have been dropped from the site. Despite this the four recently came together to narrate a short film promoting the NHS new mental health initiative. Harry, Megan, William and Kate reunited to promote the Every Mind Matters website, a new NHS resource offering personalized advice for people struggling with stress, depression or poor sleep. Broadcast on commercial channels just before 9 p.m. on Monday, the three-minute film featured the voices of the two dukes and duchesses. The website crashed soon after the advert was aired as viewers headed to the Every Mind Matters page. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge held a private meeting at Kensington Palace on Tuesday night, welcoming Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates to their London home. The private Behind-the-scenes meeting was not announced beforehand but was later recorded in the court circular, the daily record of engagements carried out by the royal family. William and Kate hosted the billionaire philanthropist, who is co-chairman and trustee of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, in their role as patrons of their royal foundation. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is the largest private foundation in the world, and Mr. Gates is estimated to have given away nearly £30 billion to charity. William and Kate are now the main principals of the Royal Foundation, following the departure of Prince Harry and Meghan in their roles as founder patrons. The Sussexes split to form their own household and charity venture earlier this year, leaving the Cambridges to focus on mental health, early years, wildlife conservation, young people and the armed forces community with their royal foundation. The private meeting with Mr. Gates comes shortly after Harry and Meghan's names were removed from the royal foundation website. William and Kate are listed as principals, while Harry and Meghan's previous work sits within the site's new section. But the Fab Four haven't ruled out working together in future and they teamed up this week to narrate a short film to launch the Every Mind Matters campaign. The initiative from Public Health England and the NHS aims to help people manage the early symptoms of poor mental health. William, Kate. Harry and Meghan provided the voiceovers for the televised campaign, which also features a range of celebrities, Davina McCall, 
Freddie Flintoff and Gillian Anderson, whose lives have been affected by poor mental health. Shortly after it aired on ITV, Channel 4 and Sky Channels, the Every Mind Matters website was down for a short period, believed to have been caused by a surge in traffic.